These are the results of the dropshipping recession challenge. In this video challenge, I'm going to be attempting to do Shopify dropshipping during the 2022 global recession. Now, for those that don't know what a recession is, it's when you get two back-to-back -back quarters with negative GDPR. Now, for those that are wondering how would that affect Shopify dropshipping, it basically means that consumers are less likely to spend money on things that are not essential. And because the US have officially announced that we're in a recession now, I want to see if this actually is going to make a difference with Shopify dropshipping. And in this video challenge, I need to go and find a hot product during the recession. I also need to create a one product store then I need to go out there and create some video ads for TikTok ads and for Facebook ads and then I need to go out there and create my ads on TikTok and for Facebook and I'm going to be doing this all of myself and I will not be outsourcing any of the work. And the challenge is going to last for around about two to three days. I'm going to be giving myself a $500 to $1,000 budget in the total challenge. And the whole point of this challenge is to see how much money I can make during this recession and to see what effects it has on my Shopify dropshipping store. Now, if you haven't already, go grab yourself some snacks, some popcorn, some drinks, because this one is going to be super entertaining. I've got something really special for you viewers and hopefully subscribers, so make sure you subscribe. And I'm going to be doing the store giveaway and all the assets included with this video challenge I'm going to be giving it away like the videos, the store, all of that stuff. And once we hit 5,000 likes on this video, I'll be picking the best comment from the description and messaging you directly to transfer everything over. That brings us on to day one of this challenge during the global recession. And what I'm going to be doing on day one is I need to find myself a product that will do well during a recession so it needs to be an essential product that people can use from home and from outside home and they need it in their day-to-day -day life then i need to go and create myself a one product store that is designed to convert on facebook ads and on tiktok ads and it looks professional so people have a higher conversion rate then i need to go out there and create myself some facebook video ads some tiktok video ads and i need to go and find the content and edit it and create it all myself and then i need to go and create some facebook ads and some tiktok ads for my product that I do choose. Now, this is going to be by far the busiest day of the challenge because I need to do everything from the very start to the very end. And this is going to take me around about 10 hours to do. So let's start with the product research. Now, how I do my product research is I use two different spy tools. I use Peekster and I use Sell Account. And the reason why I use spy tools and product research tools is because it saves me time and it also helps me find products that are qualified to actually work before with previous advertisers. Now, what Peekster does is it shows you loads of winning products from Facebook ads, Amazon, throughout the whole dropshipping industry and puts it all in one place by giving me all the descriptions, the ad copies, all the store selling it. And it really helps build some creativity when it comes to actually building my own store with these products. I use Sell Account and Sell Account is actually a TikTok spy design tool. So it'll show me loads of winning TikTok ads and organic videos. And because TikTok is a leading indicator, any products that are doing well on TikTok tend to do well on Facebook as well. Now you can do product research by using no tools, but it can take you a lot longer to find all the necessary information. And you're not guaranteed to find a qualified product by using a spy tool the products on there are proven to work it doesn't guarantee any sales but at least it tells you that it is actually making money Let's get the drums rolling because this is the product that I've just chosen for this challenge. So the product is a seven in one computer keyboard cleaner brush kit with a earphone cleaning pad for AirPods and other earphones. So this product, if we swipe left, you can see has a multiple function where you can take the keys off, clean all the debris underneath it. You can also clean laptop screens, smartphone screens, tablet screens. You can even clear your AirPods, your earphones. It's a multi-functional product that can clean 
all your smart devices. Now, the reason why I've chose this product is because during the recession, only proven green products that people actually need are going to do well. And the reason why I think people are gonna need this product is because whilst they're working from home, their keyboards are gonna get dirty, they're gonna have to isolate noise if they've got kids or pets, and their laptop screens are gonna get dirty. So this is a great product to fix all of those issues whilst working from home. Now, if we take a look at the reviews, you can see it's got five star reviews and all the other AliExpress sellers selling this product have also got really, really good reviews. And if we take a look at the order amount, it's got 259 orders. Now combined with all the other sellers, it's got around about 1000 orders, which means it's very low when it comes to saturation. And the product comes in pink and it comes in blue to fit anyone's need. Now the product is selling for around about $5.18, including shipping. I'm looking at around about $6. Now I plan on selling this product for $29.99. And I was saying to you guys before that, products that are priced between $29.99 and $39.99 and even $19.99 do the best on TikTok ads and Facebook ads because it's an impulse low ticket buy. And during a recession, people don't want to be spending loads and loads of money on hundreds of dollars worth of products. So while this one being a cheap product, hopefully that will help itself. And now I've shown you the product that I've chosen for this challenge. Let me show you the research that I've done to actually find this exact product. So the first thing that I do is I head over to Peekster, which again is an Amazon, AliExpress and dropshipping as a whole industry product research tool. And I head over to the winner section and you can see here, I can sort it by different order amounts, different selling prices and the different niches. Because I know products on TikTok do really well from the prices range from $19.99 to $39.99, I actually changed this to those price ranges to show me all the relevant products. Then once you filter it down, then you want to scroll through the dashboard. And once you look at these little thumbnails showing you the product, whichever one grabs your attention, then it's more than likely than not, it's going to grab somebody else's attention. So I kept scrolling down and I also look at the names as well, because sometimes they're quite interesting. Now this one did grab my attention, but kids toys can be sometimes hit and a miss, but I kept scrolling down and I read this one here, premium multifunctional accessory kit. And this one grabbed my attention because it's a multi-use case product. And you can see in this image, it shows loads of different components of of the product. Then once I clicked on the product through Peekster, it gives me all the relevant information that I need to help me do more research on the product. So for example, it gives me the selling price, the shipping price, the description, all of this information that's going to help me sell the product. But the thing that I'm more interested about is all these relevant links like AliExpress, Alibaba, Amazon, eBay store selling it because I can do my research so it's selling it. And this is the website selling it on the most amount. And you can see that their website is nothing special. It is very, very badly designed. And this store is still making good money. So I can definitely outpace them on the website build. Then I looked at the product on AliExpress because it gives me the direct link. And you can see here, I've set it by order amount and the most orders for this product is 259. And the product's got some really good reviews, meaning that people are happy with the product. Now, the reason why this is actually really appealing to me is because it's not got that many orders. Throughout the, all the sellers, it's got around about 400 to 500 orders, meaning that there's still a lot of room for this product to sell and potentially go viral. Then what I did is I headed over to sell account to see if the product actually came up on sell account too, because that would help me confirm that the product is doing really well. So I headed over to sell account and you can see here, you've got also some more filters you can use to help you find the ads on TikTok that are performing really, really well. But as soon as I started to scroll down, guess what? I found the ad come up on sell account too, which has helped me confirm that the product is doing really, really well. So as soon as you do this, you can actually click it and it'll take me directly to the TikTok video. Now, because I know the name of the product, I headed over to Facebook ad library, which shows me all the relevant ads to the product and I searched in the name of the product and you can see there's a few advertisers selling it. So you can see this video here is an advertiser, this image is an advertiser. Now this one here is not the same product, but it does a similar job. This is the old version of the product and that one actually went viral and it's got over like 40,000 orders on AliExpress. Now when I scroll down, there's no more ads. So these are the ones based on that keyword, but there are more ads being ran for this product, but on different keywords. But overall, there's not many people selling it on Facebook, meaning that there's low competition for the product, which again is also a good sign for me. Then I did the exact same thing on TikTok. I searched for the name of the product on TikTok and it gives me all the organic videos. And you can see organically, this product hasn't got many views. You can see it's got 3000 views here. But apart from that, this product really hasn't got many views. The old version of the product, which is the brush, has got over 20 million views on TikTok. And that is the old version of the product. It was like a three and one. This is a seven and one product. So that also tells me that there's a lot of room on TikTok ads for this product to make money. And it also tells me that other products that are similar have a lot of interest for this community, meaning that this product's in the same community, but not many people know about it. And there's a big audience 
waiting to see it. Then to finish off, I go on to Google Trends and I searched in working from home because I believe that's a relevant keyword to the product. It's gonna be people from working from home, using iPads, using AirPods, using keyboards. And you can see here, based on the last 30 days worldwide, you have peaks, down peaks, peaks, down peaks, and it seems like it's very consistent. And now we're going through a down peak, so I'm guessing that we're gonna go on an up peak again for around about a month. These are about monthly, if you look at them. So that means that we could see a little boom for the next 30 days with this product. Now, Google Trends isn't always a key indicator. It's just something else that helps concrete the evidence towards a product potentially doing well. Now, I've picked the product that I'm going to be using for this challenge. I need to now build a one product website. Now, I'm going to be using Shopify as the website builder. Now, make sure if you're going to try Shopify out, you use my link in the description because you will get 14 days for free. And sometimes you can even get longer than 14 days. Now, I'm going to be using a theme called the Refresh theme, which is a brand new Shopify free theme built on the 2.0 technology, meaning it's got loads of new cool features and you can make your website look absolutely amazing. Now, the most important part of this website build is making the website look professional, but not too professional where it's gonna off put the TikTok traffic. Now, I find with TikTok ads and TikTok organic, I find that the traffic that comes to the website, if the website looks too professional, it can sometimes put them off it because they feel like they're getting hard sold to. So I need to make it look really nice, not too commercial and too professional. And because this product comes with seven features, I need to make sure that I go into depth on every single one of those features so they justify the amount that I'm selling it for. Because at the end of the day, if you sell your product for a price and you don't justify it in the description and what your product actually does, then people will not buy the product. So now I've given you guys the brief on how I want the website to look and how I'm gonna build it. Now it's gonna take me around about two to three hours to actually make it. So let's get straight into making this website.
guys, now I've finished the website, let's check it out. So as you guys can see on my phone screen, the website is called cleantechkit.com. And the reason why I've called it that is because it's clean in tech and it's a kit, so I thought it sounds pretty cool. And as you guys can see with the logo, it's very simplistic. It just says clean tech, and then underneath it, it says tech device cleaning kit. And I've gone for a blue, gray, and white color scheme because I feel like that looks, in terms of color psychology, professional in this industry. And with the colors that I've chosen, they're very neutral and very calming. Now, if we take a look at the header bar, it says limited offer, free worldwide shipping. Now, I will be targeting the e-packet countries. And then if you look at the homepage, it says here on the image, seven in one keyboard cleaning kit. And it's got an image showing the two different products on the keyboard cleaning it. And I feel like that's a really enticing homepage image. And then if you scroll down, it says here, clean tech cleaning kit, bring your smart devices back to life. The ultimate cleaning kit for all devices, only $19.99 for a limited time. Now I do need to change that to say $29.99 because I've changed the price. And then it says buy now. And then if we scroll down, we're going over the key features. So the first one is keyboard cleaning. And then it shows an image of the keyboard and it says here a high quality material designed to cleaning keyboards then if we scroll down it shows the screen cleaning how this product can clean different devices screens to keep them looking fresh and then it goes over how it's designed to do that and then it goes over the earphone cleaning showing the airpods being cleaned with the product talking about how it's a three-in-one earphone cleaner and then if we scroll down we've got the call to action with the product and then we've got the footer at the bottom now if we actually look at the product page itself by clicking view full details you're going to see the product page has got these images that look really nice in terms of the color scheme and it shows the image in different actions and if we scroll down i've called it the seven and one clean tech kit and you can see here i've got my star reviews because of luke's reviews and then you can see here i've got a comparison price it used to be 39.99 but now it's 29.99 i've got apple pay and then the description says does your smart devices collect dust and dirt reducing their visual appearance and functionality clean tech kit is the smart device is the ultimate cleaning kit to restore your phones laptops computers computers and earphones back to the day when you bought them and then it goes over all the different components and then here I've got the key details so here you can choose key details and this shows you all the details of the product and it's in a drop down menu then I've got what's included in the box then I've got a how to use explaining how to use the product to hopefully keep people happy when reading the website so they're convinced they know what the product is and what it does and then I've got my Luke's reviews here just in a nice compact format which is really nice and I'll leave a link in the description to a 30 day Luke's trial they're the ones that I use and if we scroll down we've got again the key features keyboard screen cleaning earphone cleaning and that is it for the actual product page so this is the website let me know what you guys think of the website in the comment section below I'm intrigued to see what you guys think now i built my website for my product i now need to create the creative video side and image side for the advertisement so before i can start advertising i need videos i need pictures that i'm going to be using to place for my advertisements now this is where things can get a little bit difficult and complicated because i need videos for tiktok and i need videos for facebook and two different types of videos work better on each different platform so for example on tiktok ugc and pov for those that don't know what it means ugc stands for user generated content pov means point of view as in your point of view works really well on TikTok, but on Facebook, I find that professional looking videos work really, really well. So I need to create both style of videos for each different platform. Then I also like to run image ads on Facebook because I find sometimes they work really, really well. So I need to create some nice looking images for the Facebook ad part. Now, in terms of where I'm going to get the video content from to actually create videos with, I'm going to ask my supplier to see if they've got any videos that I can use that they've actually made themselves. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to be using other people's videos because that can get you ad account bans and other issues. So it's better to use custom content or content from your supplier with permission and then changing it to make it your own. Now, as long as my supplier has some really good content, I can work with photos because I can turn them into a video slideshow. And if they've got stock video themselves, I can just edit that and make it look really cool. Sometimes you can also contact people on TikTok that have made videos of the product and ask them if you can reuse it and you'll actually mention them in the video and in the description. And sometimes that can be a good way to get content as well. But the best way to get content normally is to be using companies like Bilo or Fiverr and hiring a freelancer where you send them the product from Amazon, which means they'll get it the day after, and they actually record the content for you, and you send them video examples of other people that have done well with the product, and they can use it as a framework when creating content and custom content for yourself. But because I'm testing the product right now, I don't wanna to spend too much money on that because it could fail and then I lose more money, and I haven't got the time to do that, so I'm going to have to work with what I've already got. Now, I don't need to just create videos. I also need to create ad copies and ad headlines. Now, for those that don't know what that is, when you run an ad on TikTok, you're gonna have a one line which is an ad headline 
something like 50% off shop now. Now, those are easy to make, but on Facebook, I need to create ad headlines and ad copies. An ad copy is like a short description of you trying to sell the product to the viewer. Now, how I like to find all this information for product descriptions and ad copies is I like to go to the Facebook ad library and look at other competitors and influence my descriptions off them. And I also like to use my actual product description inside of my ad copies as well and just restructure it and reword it so it's suitable for that platform. created my ad content meaning my video ads for Facebook and TikTok and my ad copies for both platforms I'm now going to show you them so on the screen you should now see my videos for TikTok first and then for Facebook to check them out What to do if the keyboard headphones are dirty? Try the cleaning kit, which can remove the keyboard without damage, and the cleaning brush can remove the dust efficiently. There is an earphone cleaning pen. Take it down and deeply clean the earphone. Computer and mobile phone screen cleaning spray. Spray the screen, clean the screen with an eraser, and the screen becomes clean and new. Who wants this?
So as you guys have just seen there, my videos. Now what I've basically done is I've just basically got them from my supplier and repurposed the videos and some of the same videos for Facebook and for TikTok. I've just added my logo and I've also added my own music. And you can also see on the screen some of the images that I'm gonna be using for the Facebook image ads. And I've got these images from my supplier and the images that they've provided look really cool anyway. And these are the type of images that work really well, which is lots of color and lots of information, sharp information on the images. Now, if the supplier didn't have those type of images, I would have to recreate them in Canva or on Photoshop. Now, when it comes to the ad copies and ad headlines, I will put them on the screen, but I'm also gonna go through it with you when I show you exactly how I do all of this stuff so you guys can teach yourselves how to do it as well. So this is the strategy that I use to create the videos that I just showed you and to create the ad lines and ad copies and the photos. So if you go to AliExpress and you type in your product and then sort it by orders, you wanna go to the best order amount sellers, meaning the ones with the most orders, and you wanna click on the listing and you can see here most AliExpress sellers will have videos for the product. So for example, this seller's got this video right here. And if I play it for you, you can see it's the same video that I showed you before. The only difference with my video is it's got my logo on it and it's got a bit of different music on, but it's exactly the same video. Now, before you download the video, you wanna scroll down and go to where it says contact. And you wanna ask the supplier if this video is theirs and it is okay for you to reuse it as you're a drop shipper. And as long as they say yes, you can use a Chrome extension called Ali Save. And if you've got the pro version, which is like a dollar a month, you can download the video by just clicking this little icon. Now, what you want to do is you want to go through loads of different sellers selling the product and see if they have different videos. Now, for my product, unfortunately, there's this one video that they've got, but with some products that have more orders, you'll see that there's about six to 10 different videos circulating around that you could use. But as I'm still on AliExpress, I might as well show you, but this is what I do when it comes to finding images to use as image ads. So if you go back to the best performing AliExpress suppliers, go back to their video and photo catalog, and you're going to see these type of images here work extremely well, which is a actionable step of the product that's showing you using the product. And you can see here, it's got writing on it as well. Now, if I show you this image, illustrations like this also work really well. You can see it's an illustration showing you the product. Now, if you also scroll down on the AliExpress page, you can find even more images. So for example, this image works really well because it's explaining what the product does whilst doing it. And again, more images and a lot of people would miss this part out where if you scroll down you'll find it again another great image another great image these type of images on a carousel can work really well now if you do that on all the top performing aliexpress suppliers you're going to be able to find these images and if you can't i'll show you an alternative now once i've got the videos from aliexpress i head over to a company called in video and this is the video editing software and you can see here i'm on my dashboard and these are some of my drafts from previous videos that i've created now as soon as you create an in video account i will leave a link in the description so you can get 50 percent off it's already really cheap anyway and it's by far the best video editing software for beginners that i've been using for the past almost three and a half years now if you scroll down you can see you can choose wide square or vertical now for tiktok you're gonna need vertical 9 by 16 for facebook you're gonna need one to one square so you can actually change the dimensions and when you select it it's actually going to show you example videos that you can base your video from so you can actually use templates that they already give you which can make your life really easy so you can see here there's some templates that they're already giving you for potential products that you might want to sell. Now, what you can do is you can just create a blank canvas and just add your logo in there. If the video is already really good, just add your logo to it, add some new music, and in video has all copyright free music for you. And as soon as you've added your logo and some new music to it, you're ready to go. Now, something else that I do to add a call to action at the end of my videos, now two of the videos that I showed you did have a call to action at the end is, I'll go over to Canva. Now, you do need a Canva Pro account for this, and you can use my link in the description again to get some benefits. Fits. And if you go to Canva and type in shop now or anything like that, it's going to show you videos or images or animations of the shop now. So you can have one of these at the end. So you can see here, it says shop now and you can have an image of your product in there. So you can use loads of these different ones. Now I've used this one personally from the video you'll see and you probably recognize this one. This is the one that I've used for my video. It says shop online now and I've changed it to say my domain name. So you can add these to the end of your video to give it a nice call to action. Now, if you're AdExpress supply, does not have good content or you want custom content, then this is what I normally do. So I head over to a company called Bilo. Now Bilo is basically where you can get UGC content created through influencers on their platform. So you can see I'm in my dashboard and this is some of the content that I've previously got from Bilo. Now Bilo is really easy to use. You just need to create an account. It can range from about $59 a video 
and if you're going to order more than one video you're looking at around about $200 now that is quite expensive so if your AliExpress supplier does have good content then just repurpose the content to start with and then as soon as you see proof of concept meaning you're getting sales then you can come here and download custom content now if you want a really cheap alternative then you can head over to Fiverr and type in TikTok video ads or UGC video and you can see if you sort it by seller details level 2 meaning the better sellers you can see that there's loads of people here that can make them from £13 to around about £17 which is around about $20 instead of $60 per video so this is a great way now, now what you would have to do is you would have to go to Amazon you can see here I've got my product on Amazon and then send the product from Amazon to the person that's going to create the video for you in UGC now if you've got Amazon Prime in the US or the UK then you can get it to them in the next day which helps with in terms of how long it takes to get the videos back now let's say it takes one day to get to the actual content creator then it takes them two days to do it that equals three days now, if we take a look at my ad copies and ad headlines, you can see here my ad copy reads seven in one smart device cleaner, all in one smart device cleaner in your pocket. Refresh your AirPod, iPad, smartwatch, smartphone, laptop from sticky touches, portable and easy to carry, perfect business travel partner. Then I finish off with my call to action, get it now, 30% discount. It will have my link here once I upload it to the Facebook ad or the TikTok ad. Then I've got another ad copy that reads 7-in-1 keyboard, earphone, cleaning brush set, multifunctional cleaning kit, high quality material, earphone cleaner, screen cleaner, keyboard cleaner, AirPod cleaner, get it here. And if we take a look at my headlines, this is for Facebook and for TikTok, it says 7-in-1 smart device cleaner, get it now at 30% discount, your smart devices need this. So these are my headlines that I will use on both platforms. Now in terms of how I've came up with these, is I've gone to the ad library as you can see, I've typed in keywords to find my product competitors and you can see here if I look at their little ad copies this one here this one here and also these ones down here they're very similar to the ones I've got in here the only thing that I've done is I've repurposed so for example here it says five and one so I've changed it to say seven and one and I've also added the bits that they're missing in this ad copy so it's also good to look at your competitors repurpose their content see what you can add to it see what you can remove from it and then use it for yourself now another good thing about this is you can actually have a look at what your competitors are doing in terms of the carousel ads like this one here which is basically an image ad and see how they've got it set up because if they're spending money on this now carousels tend to have this thing called best performing card meaning that it will only show the image that's performing the best and then the one that's performing the worst best at the end so this means that this image is performing the best then this one then this one then this one and facebook automatically does it for you so it means that i could structure mine like this where it shows a product image of it near a keyboard then them using it then a diagram so i can copy the style than the format that they've done theirs in if it's a proven success ad. Now, something else that I can do to actually create ad copies and ad headlines for my ads is you can actually go back to your website. So this is my website right here and I can repurpose the content. So keyboard cleaning, I can actually take this and add it to an ad copy as a feature. Same with this, same with this and same with all of this other stuff right here. So I can actually repurpose the content on my website and add it as an ad copy or an ad headline. So now I've created my video ads, my ad copies, my ad headlines, all my my image ads are ready to go I now need to create my Facebook ads and my TikTok ads now in terms of the setup that I'm gonna have I'm gonna give you a brief breakdown I'm gonna set up an ABO campaign on Facebook which stands for ad set budget optimization I'm gonna have 10 ad sets with 10 ads in there and I'm gonna be using videos carousel single images all under one ad set and I'm gonna have 10 ad sets in total and I'm gonna be spending around about $10 per ad set in terms of the countries that I'm gonna be targeting it's gonna be the top six countries which I'll show you later and in terms of the interest they're going to be broad technology based interests that are going to be more likely than not my audience now don't worry if that makes no sense to you later on when i make them i am going to show you exactly each single ad set and the actual campaign so you are going to be able to understand it in terms of the tiktok ads it's going to be quite similar i'm going to create 10 to 20 ad groups which is like an ad set and i'm going to be doing an abo campaign as well which is ad set budget optimization now per ad group i'm looking to spend around about 20 dollars and in terms of the ad section i'm going to be creating four ads under each ad group maybe i might do eight and they're going to be all four different videos that i've created some might be with a different hook and some might be with a different hook as well which will be eight different creatives in total basically four of the same videos but i'm going to be using the same four videos again but just with a different ad headline which is like a hook basically to get people enticed into the video so now i've given you a brief breakdown on the campaign setups let's get the time lapse going right now
So guys, I'm back. I've just set up the TikTok ads and the Facebook ads, and this is the current time today, which is the first day of the challenge. It's almost half past eight in the evening, and I started this challenge at around about 10 o'clock in the morning. So it's around about 10 hours of complete grafting out with this challenge, which has been very, very tough. Anyway, let me break down what I've done inside of these campaigns so you understand what we're currently working with. Now, before I carry on, I just wanna let you know, when I was doing the B-roll of the TikTok ads and the Facebook ads, I actually went to Nando's to do it because I went for some food and I thought I'd do it whilst I was eating. So if you were thinking just then why was he in a different area, that's why. Now I'm back home, so let's get straight into it. So as you guys can see, I'm in the business manager and you can see I've called the campaign name inside of Facebook called ABO Test, meaning that this is the test campaign. And you can actually see that's already started spending around about $7 right now, which is not enough money to get any results, but I just thought I'd show you it's spending. That's a really good sign. Normally when you set up Facebook ads, there could be things like ad account bans, ad errors, and to know that it's spending money is a big relief for me. So that's made me really, really happy. Anyway, let's break the campaign down by selecting it going to where it says edit and you can see here in the campaign level it is ABO I'm not doing CBO now if we look at the ad sets you can see I've got 10 ad sets in total and the first ad set is called top six meaning the top six countries which I'll go over later and then if we go down you can see I've used purchase the conversion meaning that I want people to purchase my product the daily budgets around about ten dollars per ad set and you can also see that I've targeted these country United States Ireland, New Zealand, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, the top six countries. I'm doing 21 to 55. I'm targeting Xiaomi in this interest, which is a phone company. And this is my potential reach. It's very small for this one. And you can see all languages, manual placements. I'm only doing Facebook feeds and Instagram feeds because I find they're the ones that get their best conversions. And everything else is normal. Now, if we go back into the ads under the ad sets, I've actually got three ads under each ad set. Ad one is the video, so this is video two, so I've made loads of different videos as I showed you before. This is video two, and you can see here, I'm gonna show the video in a minute, you can see it here playing, so I'm gonna zoom this in for you guys so you can actually see it. And this is the first video that I'm rolling, and this is the thumbnail of the video as well. I'm using a different thumbnail, and you can see here, this is the primary text. I'm not gonna read it out to you guys because you guys have already heard me read it, you can just look at it again. I've used this as the headline, and you can see I've used free truck shipping as the description, shop now, and then my product page URL, and I'll also put a screen on the image of the ad in a full size so you can actually see it now if we take a look at video number one video number one is the same video the only difference is the thumbnail as you guys can see there the thumbnail is different and the also the other different thing is the headline the headline actually says seven and one smart device cleaner so there's a different headline that's the only difference with this one and then to finish it off I've created a carousel and you can see here this is the carousel I'm actually going to make it bigger for you guys because you guys can actually see it so if we go to desktop feed you're going to be able to see the full carousel right now and you can see that's the first image with 30% discount that's the second image that's the third image and you can see the different headlines under each image and I think carousel ads can perform really well sometimes and this is the same the description is pretty much the same shop now all the same now the only difference in the ad sets now I've duplicated that ad set nine times which will give me ten in total and the only difference is the interest you can see this one's called tablet computers this one's called consumer electronics this one's called gadget this one's called smart device. So I'm targeting things that are related to my target audience. Because remember, I'm selling a tech product. So this product can help you with your phones, your laptops. So these are all interests based on that audience. Now, if I go back into the actual dashboard, you can see here the total of 10 ad sets. You can actually see them all here in a better view. And if we go under the ads as well, I'm just going to deselect this one ad set. You can see all the ads as well. And you can see them all named right here. So you can see I've just duplicated the same ones in a different ad set. Now that's pretty much for the Facebook ads, I will be updating you on the results tomorrow. Now, if we take a look at the TikTok campaign that I set up, you can see it's active and it's already spent around $60, guys. Now, I'll explain the reason why I spent so much money in a minute. Now, if we actually break this campaign down so you guys can understand exactly what I've done, you can see here I've gone for conversions. This is the campaign name. So I have set up a campaign budget. Now, what does this mean? It doesn't mean it's a CBO. It just basically means the campaign can't spend any more than $160. After that, it will stop running because it's a test campaign. Campaign. I only want to test things out inside of this campaign. So hence, I've done it that way. Now, if we actually dive into the campaign by going to the ad groups, you can see I've actually created eight different ad groups. You can see it there, total eight ad groups. And you can see in these ad groups, if I edit them, I'm going to show you exactly how I've audience based set it up. So I've done website, I've selected the pixel, complete payment. In terms of the placements, only TikTok because these two are not relevant. 
Automatic crave optimization, I haven't done that. Targeting, Canada and the US, those are the two countries. And then in terms of languages, all budget $500. It doesn't mean it's going to spend $500. It's you forcing TikTok to spend it. Now, I did say the minimum is $20. And you guys can be like, why have you put $500 in there? By putting $500 as the budget, you're just forcing TikTok to spend the budget. It doesn't mean it's going to spend $500 because the campaign limits on $160. That's just you telling TikTok, spend my budget and spend it fast because I want to test this fast so then I can alter the ads and then get them to be successful. Hence that I've done it that way. Then you can see here day parting is on all day. I've not changed that. So I've done that in every single ad group. Now some of them are slightly different. I've actually gone for some with interest and some without. And if I just change this here, you can see the names. If you look at the names, these are the interests that I've used. Tech and electronics. You can see here vehicles and transportation games. These are the interests that I've used. So if you can see those if you see auto, that means that I've done no interest targeting. Open means no interest targeting. Now, if it says these names like this, that means the interest I've actually targeted. Now, if we look at the ads inside of the ad groups, now the ad is what somebody will actually physically see on the actual TikTok platform. You can see a total of 48 ads. Now, why do I have 48 ads? If you do the math, I've got eight ad groups and I've got six ads under each ad group, which equals 48 ads. So if we take a look at one of the ads, you can see I'm using my page here called Clean Tech Kit with a nice little logo. And this is the video itself. And you can see it's in the nine by 16 aspect ratio. And this video is actually a squared video, but I've actually zoomed it in to be in a TikTok video which is very easily done through in video then this is actually my actual headline that's the headline that i'm using and you can see that's what it would look like on the actual ad itself and you can see i'm doing website standard shop now called to action i've done the same for the other just different videos basically the exact same just a different video now let me explain to you guys why i've set up the campaign just like that and the reason behind it so why i've done it is because i want to try and spend 160 dollars within 24 hours more than likely than not it'll spend it within around about four to eight hours maybe 10 hours and I'm forcing it to spend a lot of budget because I want to know what ad creatives are the best, which ones are getting the best CTR, which stands for click for rate, which ones are getting the highest CPM. So then tomorrow, when I catch up with you guys, I can make a new campaign again and only use the things that are working well. That way I'm trimming off the fat and hopefully that should increase the results. I've done the same thing on Facebook, but just on Facebook, where I'm just testing very fast on a higher budget, on a very fast type of budget, the way it's going to spend it. So I know what's going to work well. So when tomorrow comes, I can basically cut things down to what is working and what isn't working and hopefully that will increase the results so guys that does conclude day one of this recession drop shipping challenge and it has been an extremely long day so if you appreciate what i've just done in day one make sure you smash that like button i've just put in about 11 to 12 hour shift into this which isn't easy but guys the whole point of tomorrow is just to basically show you the results how the campaigns are performing if i got any orders anything to do with the store since i've launched the ads is going to be updated tomorrow and the following day so it's going to be two days of updating you on the results now i know this video is going to be extremely entertaining to watch but even just watching day two and day three of the challenge is going to be really educational for you guys because you're going to be able to see what i do with campaigns to try and filter them down to perform the best so it's really educational as well so make sure you guys stick around So it's day four of the challenge and you're probably thinking day four of the challenge, where's day two and day three gone? So on day two, not much really happened. So I didn't really want to update you and waste your time. And then on day three, I was really, really ill and I couldn't get out of bed. So now it's day four. And the great news about that is it basically means there's so much things that I can share with you on day four of the challenge that you're going to learn so much from. So what I'm going to be breaking down with you guys right now is the Shopify analytics since we started the challenge and launched the ads on Monday, the 8th. And then I'm also going to be showing you the TikTok ads manager, the Facebook ads manager, and show you guys how the ads are currently doing and my current thoughts on the challenge. So as you guys can see on the screen, I'm inside of the Shopify dashboard and you can see week to date showing the 8th of August when we started the challenge to the 11th of August, which is today. And you can see we've had two sales, which equivalates to around about $59.98. So as you guys can tell right there, the challenge isn't going amazing right now. We've only had two orders since Monday, the start of the 
challenge. And you can see if you look at the actual chart that we had a dip for a whole day and a half where we had no sales but the ads were still running and now we've recovered the ads because we did make some changes that I will show you in a minute. Now if you look at where it says sales by social source it shows TikTok meaning that that is the platform that generated both of the sales. So Facebook at the moment has done absolutely nothing for this store. Now I don't want to be panicking people that are watching this thinking that oh Shopify dropshipping is dead especially during this recession and it's never going to be good again. I want to show you a different store that we're running alongside this one in the challenge and you can see yesterday which is the 9th we did 1000 around about $1,600 you can see here it's in euros and the day before that which is the 9th we did around about $3,400 as you can see there so you can see that with another store that we're running at this exact same time we're still making really really good money. Now if I show you another Shopify dropshipping store that we started at the end of December last year till now you can see that this is one of the dashboards for the store we got two dashboards for the same store you can see this one's done $637,000 and do bear in mind that this one has barely spent money on paid ads we've done it all organically through TikTok and you can see the same store but different Shopify dashboard has done around about 363 so we've done over a million dollars since the start of the year through all of those economic problems we've still been able to achieve a million dollars with this brand new store with a really high profit margin now the reason why I'm showing you this is for those that are new to Shopify dropshipping or those that are beginners that haven't seen success yet thinking oh it's completely dead you can't make money at the end of the day this is a Shopify dropshipping challenge and it's a completely real challenge a lot of those challenges that you see online a lot of them are pre-made and scripted where they only show you challenges that actually make real money and it looks really appealing but this is a real challenge today that I'm running with you guys and you can see just by looking at my smartphone the day is the 11th of August so you guys know that this challenge is completely real I didn't know this product was gonna do well or not when I started I just tried it to see how it went now, something else that I want to show you before I move on to the ads manager for Facebook and TikTok is the company that I'm using to fulfill all my orders so I'm using a company called auto DS and they're like Oberlo or DS's but they're a better version so what auto DS does is it basically automatically fulfills every single one of your orders without you having to click a button. Now how you're able to get automatic fulfillment with AutoDS is you add the product like you would with any other platform. You add the AliExpress URL or the CJ dropshipping URL and then you add it in like any other app and then once you've done that you want to go to settings and then you want to go to store settings, go to orders and you want to make sure that these are turned on so it automatically fulfills the actual product themselves. So you don't even need to go in there and click fulfill, it automatically does it all for you so you can see if I go back to orders you're gonna see that it says ordered ordered I didn't even click any of the buttons and the reason why is because I've got a balance you can see here balance is $23 now what that enables me to do is it enables me to upload a balance where as soon as the order comes through I can use that balance to pay for it and the company auto DS will fulfill it all for me without me even needing to click a button now make sure you check out my link in the description so you can get a 30-day free trial so you can test out yourself and see if you like it so let's start breaking down the Facebook Ads Manager to get and you can see I've changed the dates from the start of the challenge which is the 8th to today which is the 11th and you can see I've turned all the campaigns off because I feel like Facebook is a complete waste of time and money for this store and if you look at the amount spent over the overall campaigns you can see throughout both campaigns we spent around about $102 now if we break down the first campaign that I made which was called ABO test clean kit you can see I've highlighted it if we go into the ad set level you can see these are all the ad sets that I had take a look at the amount spent for this campaign we spent around about 80 five dollars which is not a bad amount but if we look at the cpcs i like my cpcs to be under one dollar and you can see that the majority of them are over a dollar which is not a good sign now if we take a look at the ctr they're actually not that bad they're actually quite good and the average ctr that you want is around about two percent and you can see that the majority of them are over two percent or even over two percent like three percent which is really good which means people are interested in the video creative or the ad creative then if we look at the cpms i don't really look at those anymore because they're not really a good sign anymore but they are still quite high but if we look at the most important thing which is link clicks you can see the link clicks are really bad we only got 38 link clicks for spending $85 which in my opinion is not very good because it means that we've only got 38 website visitors 
from this campaign after spending $85. Now, if we take a look at the actual ad section, this is gonna help me identify which was the winning ad inside of the actual creative. And you can see that video one was by far the best performing video. You can see that it ranked the third highest with 11%, 5% and 3% click-through rate for the first three performers, meaning that that was the winning creative. So that shows me that video one is the one that I should have used to actually scale into a separate campaign. So a day later, I turned off the original campaign because I wanted to narrow it down into successful interests and ads. And I made a second campaign on the 9th, which is the day later. And you can see here it's called conversion prospecting. Now, if we look, we've got three ad sets in here and you can see that each ad sets are around about $7 a day because I found out that originally I spent $10, but I found out the sweet point was actually $7. So I thought if I can bring it down and spend less money, so you can see that this one only spent $17. And you can also see that I've titled them TOF, which stands for top of funnel, top of funnel again. And what I've tried to do is a little bit of retargeting and look alike straight away to see if I can get some cheap sales, which did not work at all. If you take a look at the attribution setting, I changed it from seven days to one day to actually force those that are potential buyers to buying it. And you can see that that also didn't work either. If you look at the link clicks, we got nine link clicks. But if you work it out based on $17, we still got more link clicks per dollar than we did in the original campaign. But just going off like the CPCs, the ads to carts, like we had no ads to carts, not many interests. So I just thought, you know what? Facebook doesn't seem like they are really that keen on this product, the audience on Facebook. So I thought instead of spending more money on Facebook, why not offload the what I would spend on Facebook all into TikTok ads. Now we're inside of the TikTok ads manager, so let's start breaking it down. So you can see that the original campaign, which is this one here, TCK test ABO, I'm gonna highlight it for you guys. You can see that we actually spent around about $320 on this campaign, and it generated around about 641 link clicks, which is actually pretty good. Now you can also see the CPMs are a lot cheaper. They're actually $3 instead of being like $20. The CPC is also very, very cheap. It's at around about 50 cents. Now what does that mean? That means that there's not much saturation for this product, meaning that there's less competitors advertising similar products or the exact same product, which is actually quite a good thing. Now let's start breaking down the campaign by ad groups and let me show you the results and what changes we've made. So you can see the actual five ad groups that we originally made out of the eight, we actually turned them off and we added new ones in to see if they would perform better. So we're testing different interests out, we're testing a few little things out to see if it would increase the results. But if we actually take a look at the actual data in individually the CPCs again are very good they're all underneath a dollar which is really good the CPMs are also pretty good they're all under ten dollars which is a good thing compared to Facebook you saw the difference it's a lot cheaper and then if we look at the actual add to cart we've seen a lot more add to carts and the winning one was this one here which was games games as an interest was the winning interest because it got three add to carts now, if we take a look at the actual ads being ran for the ad groups, you can see that the winning ad was the TikTok voiceover number two. So it's all the voiceover ads that performed the best. So we had two different voiceover ads and you saw them in the original part of the video where I showed you the ads. Those two were the best performing videos out of every other one. So the other ones didn't have voiceovers, they just had music and the voiceovers performed the best and it was voiceover number two, video number two, that had the highest CTR and the better overall metrics. And by looking at all this data, we were able to then turn off this campaign because it spent a modest amount of money, then make a new campaign and put what was working in that campaign to try and reduce the spend and to see if we get more sales. So the second campaign that we made was on the 10th of August, which was yesterday. And you can see here, it's called Broad CBO, iOS devices only. And if we actually take a look at the ad groups themselves, we can dive into it. So you can see that we've actually got 13 ad groups inside of this campaign campaign and you can see some of them are called broad and these are iOS devices only meaning that only people that have iPhones will see these TikTok sponsored videos and you can see that we did expand interest we did women only we did men only we did auto meaning that TikTok actually automatically chooses the interest based on the traffic for you. We tried broad iOS. So we've done a mixture of loads of different things to try and find the exact audience that works the best for this product. So we're trying to find that specific audience. So hopefully tonight and tomorrow we can make a new campaign and just target those that are actually interested in the product. Now, if we actually take a look at the ads for the ad groups and look at which is the best performing ad, you can see by looking at the CTR, which is the best indicator for seeing what ads perform the best, 
You can see it's not a voiceover ad. So the voiceover ad actually performed third best instead of first best, and the two best videos were all music background videos. They weren't voiceovers. So there's a big difference, and that's why sometimes you don't want to rush into making a decision on what's working the best. Now, after this campaign runs till around about 5 p.m. today, which is in a few hours, we're going to then move the best performers into a brand new campaign. Now, something else that we did with the second campaign, the new campaign, was we actually set the start time to actually start at the time that looked from the first campaign to get the best performance. So from the first campaign, we noticed the time frame what worked the best. Now, we didn't do day parting. We didn't do any of that. We just set the actual campaign to launch at the time that the first campaign was actually seeing the best results to see if it would help us get better results. And overall, it's made a small difference, nothing too crazy. Now, what the plan is for going forward is to not use Facebook ads for this product because the link clicks to dollar value is not worth it at all. Now, Facebook ads are good for some of my other stores, but for this one, it's just not a great option. And that's why I'd always say to people, do TikTok and Facebook and evaluate it on the link clicks and the add to cart ratio per dollar. Now, what I plan on doing is spending another 200 to $300 on TikTok ads, and then define a new campaign that's gonna be a lot more sculptured down to what is working better and what isn't working better to hopefully squeeze a few more sales out on the last campaign. If I can aim to get another two to three sales on a $100 to $200 campaign, I would be happy with that because it would show me that there is interest for this product, but it's just taking time and money to find the right audience for this product. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the competition for this product is so low, it's harder to find the audience because you're having to spend more money to know which audience is the one that you need to be targeting because there's less advertisers working it out for you. So that's why I don't want to define that the product is dead right now because it's too early to say and the saturation is too low to come up with a conclusion. Now, before I finish off day four with you guys, I want to quickly go over the accounting company that I'd recommend for UK e-commerce or dropshipping business owners and I'm based in the UK myself and it's a company called Awesome. So for those that are wondering how to do taxes when you're selling from a UK business abroad, this is a company that I'd recommend using. You can see they work with Shopify, Amazon, loads of different companies and they can do everything for you, your VAT, your corporation tax, your imports, everything like that they can do for you and they're an online e-commerce accountant experts and you get a dedicated accountant manager to help you with your e-commerce business so you don't need to worry about all the taxes involved and if you use my exclusive link in the description you can register for two months for one pound and you get the accounting done for free which is an absolute no-brainer. The reason why I wanted to share this is because I get loads of questions about taxes in every single one of my videos and I can't tell you because I'm not a legal accountant so you need to speak to a legal professional certified accountant. Now, Awesome is coming over to the US later on this year or the start of next year so make sure you check them out later on if you're based in the US. So guys, it's day five of the challenge. It's Friday the 12th of August. We started the challenge all the way back on Monday this week. And now I'm gonna finish off the challenge with you guys, show you all of the results through the Shopify dashboard, also show you the changes that I made on the website and also in the TikTok ads manager, and then give you my conclusion on the thoughts of this channel and the overall condition of the Shopify dropshipping market. So let's dive straight into the Shopify dashboard. And as you guys can see, I've changed the dates from the 8th till the 12th. And as you guys can see, we only received one sale yesterday since I last updated you, which brings us to three orders equivalent to around about $89.97. Now, based on the online store sessions, we have had barely any orders. Now, normally it's between 50 and 100 online store sessions that are qualified traffic that you tend to get a sale. So if you do the actual math ratio, we are down by quite a lot. Now, if I quickly show you guys another store that I'm running literally at the same time I'm recording this video, you can see today we have just just done around about £1,000 with the store and this week we've done around about 3302 so you guys can see that another store that I'm running right now is actually making good money. Now I'll explain why I'm making money with this store and these other stores that I'm showing you at the end of the conclusion so you understand. Now if we dive back into the TikTok ads manager you can see we've spent a total of 
dollars now if you can combine that with the 128 dollars from facebook we've spent around about 900 dollars on paid advertisements in this challenge now if we take a look at the campaign at the top called test Too broad cbo that is the campaign that was running yesterday that got us an additional sale so now if we take a look at the number of ad groups we did add an additional three yesterday and they were auto canada ones meaning ca means canada and also means that tiktok picks the interest for me based on the algorithm that they've got that picks out the audience for them and it's the ones that are best recommended for my product or my store now if we take a look at the actual metrics of these ad groups the cpcs are really cheap the cpms are really cheap the ctrs are pretty good they're about average or just slightly under average so this is what's quite weird now by looking at those metrics they actually look really good on the screen apart from the add to cart ratio and the purchase ratio cpc cpm CTR, video watch time, they're all looking good. Now, TikTok likes promoting this product for me because it's getting me really cheap visitors and really cheap metrics, but it seems like the people that are coming on board are just not purchasing the product. And that brings me on to another thing that I changed yesterday. I actually changed the website slightly on the product page and I'll show you a demonstration on the screen. I actually added a video to the website product page under the description because I thought that would help with the conversion rate because maybe people don't still understand how the product works now let's go over how much money i made in this shopify dropshipping recession challenge actually how much money i lost in this challenge and i'll put it on the screen in full detail breaking down every single expense now i don't know because i'm recording this video but on a rough figure i think we've lost around about 800 to 900 dollars on the paid ads we only had to pay really for the paid ads the domain name the shopify was a free 14 day free trial so there wasn't really much that i had to pay for apart from the paid ads now let's go over the conclusion of this challenge and what you guys should do after watching this video. So in terms of the product that I chose for this challenge, I do believe that it's got potential, but it needs a lot more time and a lot more money to work out which marketing aspect will work better to convert the traffic into buying the product. Now, if I spent another 500 to $1,000, I would have spent the money on testing different offers. And if I didn't get any better results, then I'd say the product just isn't the one right now. Now, in terms of the actual store analytics and the Facebook analytics, and the TikTok analytics, I don't actually see anything different to than I usually see when I test products. Now, those that are watching this have to understand that I test products every single week. So I've been doing that since the last few years and I actually haven't seen anything different like in this challenge in terms of how many store sessions I'm getting. When you test the amount of products that I test and other people test, these are normal results. So when you test a product and it doesn't do well, this is typically what you'll see. Now, although we're in a recession and the economy is not in the best place, right now I'm not seeing anything that I wouldn't normally see as I'm testing products and because some of my other stores are still doing some really good numbers like the one I've just shown you and I showed you yesterday I really don't think that this global recession especially in America is making much difference when it comes to consumers buying online I think you just need to adapt slightly in what you're selling how you're giving people options to buy the product through buy now pay later options and things like that and as I was saying to you guys before why are some of my stores doing really well but the one in the challenge isn't and that's just the reality of doing Shopify dropshipping. You're testing loads of different products you're testing like three to five products a month some of them are going to look just like this some of them are going to break even some of them are going to make really really good money this is just part of the process using paid ads testing products now, a lot of the success that i've seen this year meaning 2022 i've actually seen more profit not revenue more profit through tiktok organic traffic and partnering up with famous influencers now for example me and my business partners did a million dollars in revenue with an organic TikTok top store and the profit margins were around about 55 percent so if you work it out that's some really good margins because we found so much success with tiktok organic and partnering with influencers and we've been doing it over the last few years we've actually created a mentoring program where we teach people this and we've got limited availability to the tiktok organic blueprint and if you want to check that out or apply for it you can click the link in the description to apply for it and find some information out so what i'm trying to say guys is if you're going to spend money on paid ads to do shopify drop shipping this is just the normal thing that you're going to see you are going to lose money and on some stores you're going to break even and some other stores where you want to be you are going to make good money for example somebody that i met last year called nick he is now making 300 to 500 pounds which is like 700 to 800 dollars every single day in profit with his shopify dropshipping store since the last three months and he's been able to generate around about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in total since the start of the year with around about a thirty thousand dollar profit margin 
can you share some of the numbers that you've achieved in terms of you don't need to show now because what i'll do is i'll edit the video and put a screen video of it and obviously cover the names and stuff but can you just share some numbers like what you did what 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 you've gone from to go into something like that I mean, over over a three to four month period over Christmas, I made about one hundred and seventy thousand dollars in revenue. Um, just to share, okay, about, and what was the profit? About... Because the revenue sounds amazing, but did you make any profit during that time? Yeah, it's a good shout. So that was um, about five k profit. That was after advertising, so that was all net. Wow. A month. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, just to outline the journey a little bit, I started with about three hundred quid in my pocket, and I just worked and saved a bit of money as I went. Um, I made about 5k in the first, like profit in the first season, and then I lost a load. And then coming into the next bit, yeah, it was about I, I took about 5k net uh, per month after ad spend, and now since further development, we've now we're now projecting like something like 9k profit. After ad spend. I just wanted to share that with you guys because Nick is a beginner like those that are watching this and you've just got to be okay with losing money whilst testing products. If you're not okay with doing that, you need to then do the organic route, which is like TikTok, partnering with influencers if you don't want to risk capital. Now remember, this challenge was all about seeing how Shopify dropshipping is during the recession and I've just given you guys my thoughts on the outcome and I don't really see anything much different. That was it for this challenge, guys. Let me know what challenge you want to see next on this channel. Do you want to do an organic no paid challenge? If you want to do that, let me know in the comment section below. And remember, I'm going to be giving away this store with the ad creatives, with everything that I've designed for this store and the store to those that have liked this video and got it to 5,000 likes and whoever's comment i like the most i will be picking them as a winner once we hit 5,000 likes and i'll contact you on how we can transfer everything over now if you've enjoyed this and you've learned something make sure you smash that like button and let me know and don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next video and for those that love these challenges i'll catch you guys on the next challenge